events like these are increasing the knowledge of surgeons and, and the professionals in the field, so it is absolutely vital to have meetings like that. Um, it's also a nice opportunity to meet other people, to, um, to shake hands, to see what their programs are going to. You have a bit of an informal contact with them, which is very important. Uh, if it's about the scientific content, we, we know them, we can speak to them in their own uh, practices. But here you really come to, to socialize and to make sure that the, the knowledge um, from both companies as professionals are increased through presentations. And I think um, otology is a very broad field. So having that broad field in a place like this, which is very accessible, very well known, uh, that is, that is uh, a big advantage for the, 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 the hearing professional community. And we believe that uh, this event is of uh, major importance for the community of uh, otorhinolaryngologists. Uh, we as a company uh, have been uh, at the forefront of uh, the technology improvement for everything that it relates to ENT surgery and in particular the uh, minimally invasive and endoscopic one. Now uh, our participation here has many uh, uh, angles to it. We, we do realize how much how important it is for young surgeons and for surgeons of uh, a certain caliber also of a, of a certain experience to learn uh, novelties or novel procedures to operate on uh, uh, the ear and as well the, uh, the nose and the larynx. The importance of us being here at the conference we definitely be, uh, you know, benefit from uh, uh, linking with uh, most of the surgeons uh, in the community whether it's from the UAE or from elsewhere as well because this event has you know, caught a lot of attention in the region and internationally. It's uh, very exciting. What we can see is the level of professionalism. Um, every year rises. The, um, I mean, the speakers list is fabulous. The topics are well selected. It's touching on so many topics that it is really a joy to be here. I've enjoyed the meeting. The meeting covers all aspects of otology, which I find very good. It's, uh, it's got a very good reputation. I know people are travelled from, from all, all over the, the, this part of the world to come to the meeting. And it's nice to meet colleagues from different cultures to discuss problems that we all have. So it's been a, a very worthwhile experience being here. Dubai Autology has always been a nice uh, conference in which you get an attendance of super specialized ear surgeons. These super specialized ear surgeons meet with each other. There's a networking and by which we contact each other and we help in the development of our specialty. Uh, autology is gradually being uh, divorced away from ear, nose and throat and uh, otology is going to be in the recent future a special branch in uh, medicine and uh, we are trying to make that happen by concentrating on everything which is related to the ear. It's like in the old days when ophthalmology and eye, uh, the eye became separate from different types of other specialties. So I think Dubai Otology is a very nice uh, meeting for such a super speciality as ear surgery. Very good uh, feedback from everyone uh, thanking me for a very informative course. And I, I think introducing instructional courses was a, a good thing to do. Um, a lot of people like that and uh, I think I will continue next year with the same idea. Uh, sharing the experience of uh, experts from all around the world uh, is really important that we get them to come and share the latest evidence in practice uh, in the field of otology and neurotology. And I think uh, all the 
people who were attending benefited a lot from this uh, meeting. And uh, I also want to uh, comment on the workshop. Uh, the, the workshops have been very useful uh, for our audiologists and our, our uh, physiotherapists. We had a very advanced vestibular workshop uh, running for the past three days parallel to the conference. And uh, I, I think this, these hands-on sessions really uh, value and uh, the people love it and they, they, rather than having didactic lectures all the time. So uh, I think we should do more of uh, these uh, hands-on sessions. audience so they were very you know uh, active participating so um, and they wanted to learn more uh, one of the crucial things is that you transfer knowledge so that people get the competences to do all the examination themselves so uh, that's why I love to do that so I travel all over the world and, and teaching and uh, the challenge is whether people are beginners or advanced people to make it possible that they can manage and treat their patients in a better way.